Hello everyone. Welcome to this session of coordinate geometry and as we seen in the previous session under this title we have to learn three important concepts but in this session we are going to concentrate particularly on the first concept that is distance formula. So to start with let's consider two towns town A and town B and people from town A wants to go to town B but they have to travel via town C town C is over here and this town C is at 4 kilometers in the east direction of town A and 3 kilometers in the south direction of town B that means if anybody wants to go to town B from town A via town C they have to travel total of 7 kilometers so they thought of preparing a way directly from town A to town B which may take less time to reach town B and people may have to travel less distance but what is the direct distance from A to B if you notice this it is forming a right angle triangle with right angle at C and side opposite to right angle is called as hypotenuse that is nothing but in our case distance between A and B and we can find this length of hypotenuse using Pythagoras theorem and we already know that Pythagoras theorem is one of the important property of right angle triangle and it is useful in finding the length of the hypotenuse it states that square of the length of the hypotenuse is equals to sum of the squares of the remaining two sides so in our case hypotenuse is AB and remaining two sides are AC and BC so this can be written as AB equals to square root of AC square plus BC square we know the values for AC and BC so on putting those values we get AB as 5 kilometers here we see that for finding distance between two towns we use Pythagoras theorem because we were knowing absolute distances what if instead of absolute distances we are given with coordinates of those two towns so let's say A is x1 y1 and let's say B is x2 y2 now A is x1 units away from the origin and B is x2 units away from the origin on the x axis. Now we can find the length between x1 and x2 by subtracting this small length x1 from this big length x2. So therefore length between x1 and x2 becomes x2 minus x1. Similarly A is y1 units away from the origin and B is y2 units away from the origin on the y axis. Therefore, length between y1 and y2 will become y2 minus y1 and we want distance between A and B. Let's draw AC perpendicular so that it forms a right angle triangle ABC with right angle at C and side opposite to right angle is AB that is nothing but hypotenuse. Now AC is parallel to x1 x2 and it is equal in length therefore AC will also become x2 minus x1. Similarly, BC is parallel to y1, y2 and it is equals to the length of y1, y2. So therefore, BC will become y2 minus y1. And as we know, for finding the length of the hypotenuse, we use Pythagoras theorem, which we already have here. So by putting the values of AC and BC in Pythagoras theorem, we get AB equals to square root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square now this is called the distance formula and we have derived this using Pythagoras theorem if you know the values of x1 y1 and x2 y2 we can apply them in this distance formula for finding the length between the two points so let's see how it works so let's take coordinates for a as 3 comma 2 and coordinates for b as 7 comma 5 so now we can see that x1 is 3, y1 is 2, x2 is 7 and y2 is 5. So therefore when we use distance formula for this we get AB equals to 5 units. And if we know the absolute distances of AC and BC, AC is nothing but x2 minus x1 which will be 7 minus 3, 4 and BC is nothing but y2 minus y1 which is 5 minus 2 that is 3. On using Pythagoras theorem on the absolute distances 4 and 3 we get hypotenuse as 5 the same distance so what do we understand from all this that distance formula is derived from Pythagoras theorem and both useful in finding the distances the only difference is Pythagoras theorem is used when absolute distances are known whereas distance formula is used 
when coordinates of the points are known. So now we know what is distance formula. We have to note that it can also be written as square root of x1 minus x2 the whole square plus y1 minus y2 the whole square. The only difference is the positions of x1, x2 and y1, y2 are switched. But it doesn't make any difference because we are squaring the terms. And square of any value whether it is positive or negative we always get the positive. So now you know both the methods of writing distance formula. So let's have a recap of this session. The complete course for grade 10th CBSE Math is available in pen drive and SD card format. Click on the link to buy now. To know more, you may also check the description box below.